Azra Slain slash Tori, bringing you this episode of Asia Music News. <laughs> Alright, now I've been feeling bad because I haven't been focusing on K-pop lately, and my reason for this is... I only really listen to Big Bang! So, that being said, I'm gonna try to branch out more, but... For now, I think I'll just stick with the one I do know best, which would be, of course, Big Bang. They're getting a lot into modeling, which I think is good. They have become models for BSX in the March issue of Cosmopolitan Korea, along with solo artist Rain, who's actually another one I'm really interested in trying to get to know. And they're in an issue entitled, 17 Things We've Learned About Big Bang. I gotta see the pictures are gorgeous. They are so oh, they're so they're so cute. Base, base, base. They I think they all kinda took it on on the eyeliner. I did too, so I f I don't know who this is, but um the first thing I saw was old school rapper to dedica dedicate the sex song to Tiger Woods. His name is Cho P D, and he released a digital single, I mean digital album entitled Given Advice, and which has two new tracks. Called, one is Jung Seo Ki, and the other one is Sex Sex Sex. <laughs> the second song is controversial, obviously, and from what I hear, it's actually pretty catchy. Let me try to pull it up here. Oh my god, that's too funny. Oh, there we go. That's catchy. This is so hard to miss. Let me dance with you. Wow. I totally just don't expect that at all. Wow. That's um good stuff, Chopidi. <laughs> I have no idea why he put Tom Cruise in there though. Like, did you hear it? I wasn't sure. Maybe it's just me. I just heard Tom Cruise. I might be wrong. Also, another thing I noticed while I was digging up info was that a lot of um, Korean pop artists have been in car accidents. First one I w was um, told about was um, Daesung from Big Bang, who got like a few. Um, broken bones and bruises and Daesung's accident was um in August of the week of um fellow bandmate G Dragon's solo album release. Another one is um December's Yoon uh Yoon Hyuk who got into a serious car accident on February fourth while driving with his friends um uh, after recording December's new single. The car flipped in that Yoon has a eight inch, I mean eight centimeter laceration to his head. Ow! Ooh! His nose, ribs, and pelvic bone were all cracked as well. So his is like wicked serious. His friend who was the driver broke both his legs and another friend broke his wrist. The car flipped and it was on fire and... But despite his injuries, Yoon Hyuk was um, able to pull his friends out of the car and save their lives. Oh, okay, I like that. But despite this, they're going to release their new single, which is entitled Honesty. Hmm, alright. I posted, I mean, I said last time that Gakido. <laughs> was involved in a serious car accident, which 
sadly killed a member, um, their vo one of their vocalists, Tia. There's an update and translations on ChatterTranquility.net. It says, Yoya, Rizo, you and Shitaro are all doing fine. Um, Tasi and one of the staff members that was, I think he was driving, I think, are currently hospitalized, but they are conscious. Yoya was saying that he and you only received a slight blow and only have minor injuries. Um, the right side of Rito's body was hit. He had to have stitches in his head. Shitaro took a blow to his whole body and had to get three stitches to his side. Um, the four of us didn't lose consciousness. We were able to move on, oh, and we are now together. Um, Tossi and one of the fellow staff members have suffered serious injuries. Both of them have regained consciousness. There is no threat to their lives. Oh, hey! Okay, so I'm, I'm wrong. It wasn't the staff member who drove the car. Rito was the one who drove the car. Wow. It says, um... When the van rolled over, Shitaro and Kyo were thrown from the vehicle. Kyo hit his head and took his last breath. It seemed like he died instantly. Oh. I don't want to say that I'm kind of glad of the way Kyo died, but the way they say he died instantly after getting head trauma, I wouldn't personally want to, like, suffer through that. I mean, I would, I do want him to live, but it's just, I don't know, I guess it's better that it was an instant. They're like, we're sorry for making you wait, and on our way to get to the concert, and, you know, like, we're so sorry. It's like, no, don't be sorry. Oh, poor Gekki, though. I feel bad. Lark and Seal is releasing their Best of Album. The Best of Album is named Quantity, Members Best Selections, which is going to be released on March 10th, along with a new look, which is looking really visual K right now. They look looking good though, I gotta say. It's very visual. But good luck seeing Quadrinity, guys, because, um. Quadrinity. Maybe not that bad. Alright. Um. The regular edition is of it, the album would consist of four CDs, each of which containing seven tracks, resulting in, do the math, 28 songs. Each CD is named after each member by choosing the best songs they've composed for the band. Oh, so I guess it's more like best compositions than best songs. The full um, edition of the album will include a 63-minute 63, 63 DVD of the band's entertaining variety slash quiz show, The Larkin, Larkin Quiz. Hmm, which would be good to know if you knew Japanese. One Hyde's best are Honey, NMNA, Rotetsuya, Oh yay! I love this one. Ready, steady, go. Dive to blue. Love that one. Tsuna Doke and Link. For Ken is Kaso. My heart. Oh, my heart draws a dream. I like that one too. And for Yukihiro, there's Drink It Down, Revolu Revelation, New World, and Trip. Um, oh, on the Japanese Billboard Music Awards, which took place in the beginning of the month. Um many winners were announced and among those was Vamps. I'm gonna try you for the rising international artist of 2009. So yay! Hats off to you guys. Come to America again because I need to see you. Because because I do. Just because. Yep. <laughs> that was so not weird or anything at all. Yeah. Alright, I guess what I'm singing me out this is as a flame slash Tori. Peace out, and I will try to brush up on more K-pop because I really need to.